Now the easiest way to put the cover on, don't bring up the pins all the way around here. So we're gonna lay out the cover on the biggest area and then we're gonna undo the pins all the way around, but halfway around the pool. So we wanna go there all the way around to about there. The reason is when we start dragging that cover across, we don't wanna get it hung up on one of those pins that are up and uh, you just start locking it on. Once you get the stairs, you usually can figure out, if you have stairs, you can figure that out where, where that is when you lay this out. Um, usually there's two patches, one for that corner and then one for that corner right there. So you can line that up, start putting the pins on it. You should be able to, on this side, you should, with your hand, you should just hook them on all the way around. And then once you get around this side, you can start pulling it and use your, uh, you can use your pipe to get the other springs on. If I just use a drill bit, then flip it upside down, so you can go right into the pins. Now, if the pins are in there good, this part here will break off. You don't want it to break off in the pin, so you have a hard time getting it out. So what I would suggest is, if you can cut this off, or uh, most of the time, you can put it in the pin and then wiggle it back and forth, and it will, uh, this little pin here, this edge, will break off right there. And then you can just use this part. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to just bring it up to not pass like that. You want to get it to about there. That's if the concrete's level. Sometimes they're in more, sometimes they're out like that, but this is where you want them to catch, right there. And just go around and do that to all of them. Now, if you do have help, um, I just look at it as exercise when I gotta do this by myself. Um, I just take my time. If it's a hot day, then just, you know, I stop, take a break, go get some water, whatever. It's no rush to get the cover on it, unless there's five million leaves flying everywhere and raining out. <laughs> but today's night, we just roll that out, the biggest area that you have. If you don't, then you're gonna have to stay on one side. Some people just have, you know, a small little area they can work with. All the pins are up, all the way around to about there. So this here is no pins up. Because when I start dragging this, it's a pain in the butt. It always catches no matter what, what direction it's going. So I'm going to be looking for this step right here. Because there's two patches. There's going to be a patch here. And there's going to be a patch here. So I want to line that up, these two. And then I can start putting the, the pins on. Right here. So because we're using this side, we're, we're on this side. Or we can use the waterfall. Okay, so if you have stairs, it's good. I have three stairs, or two stairs. So one here, I can use that one over there, and that waterfall right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that waterfall because there's two, there's some uh, black flap, should be anyway. I laid it out, found where the waterfall is, and now there's a bottom and a top to this. It's kind of hard to see on the gray one. But, see, we know that's on the bottom. And the top, green ones are a little bit easier to figure it out. But that's the top, that's the bottom. So, you see where I have an issue with that. Uh, well, there's a bottom right there. So that's what it looks like on the bottom. That's this. So, I have to get that over there. Once you know you've lined up everything perfectly, so we know that one goes there, that one goes straight, this one goes straight, 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 straight. If you ever have to adjust these, I'll show you how to do this.
you can adjust it forward or you can just go back So if this was a new ring, so if this was all bent and you need a new one, this one's not too, too bad, but if you need a new one, you just take everything all off. You can adjust it where you want it. So what you want to do is when it's not connected, you want it about that far away. So if it's connected like this and if everything's tight, when you first put on a safety cover, if it's brand new, you might have to adjust them. It takes a while to adjust it. So you want to stay about that far away on one side, and then you can adjust the other side. But if you're just replacing one, this is how you do it. So put it right back where it was. And go down like that. this so you gotta remember the spring there's two ways of putting it like this and like this you don't want this rubbing on the concrete so you want it sitting flush you just hook on the pin like that you don't want it like that so get everything straight down that's how you want it if you go along and nothing matches up well they're about so like if this if the cover was like that and then this pin was over here it's going to be pretty close right so it's not going to be that one there because it can't go this way. So remember, the springs are going to have to go straight, straight, straight. Okay. Do it by yourself. Like I said, it's good exercise and you don't have to rush it or anything. And you just keep on hooking it. You should be able to hook about halfway around the pool before you start using that pole. Just hook them on, hook them on, hook them on, and then use that pipe or pole. So I got half it on just by using my hand, just pulling it. So the rest is gonna be with the pole. There's different types of bars, but this is the bar they usually give you. There's a little notch on the bottom. Kind of a handle on it. This one's the short one. Some of them are longer, skinnier. This one's the fatter one. I found this. It's a little bit skinnier and it fits in there a little bit better. And if these rings, and if this spring gets bent at all, like when you first put them on, they're perfectly round. And the bigger ones just fit in there. But if these bend at all, like if you get a lot of snow load on the cover, these will bend a bit. So it's like kind of oval. So you can't put this on. So that's why I get this bar. I can use any one. To put them on with the bar, you have a bar similar to this one. And see the notch part? You put it on the outside. You pull back, push down too, because it'll just slip off. And you just step on it and push back and turn. And that's all you do. You just keep on going all the way around. If you ever have to take them off, you take your bar and with that little slot, what you're trying to do is you're trying to catch the outside and you twist. It's like that. So I'll skip every other one just so 
because it'll get tighter. It's just easier to get this one instead of two of them, like every single one being tough to, to put on. I can skip it, it'd be every other one that's tough, and then this one, it's gonna be easy. Because that one's done, that one's done. And that's how you close a basic swimming pool by yourself with a safety cover.